I'm Tammy Buffaro. I'm a critical care nurse at MultiCare Deaconess Hospital. So as a critical care nurse, we take care of patients that are too ill to be on the floor um, with the nurse that has five, six patients assigned to them. We have one to two patients usually that we're taking care of and very often they're ventilated, having a machine breathe for them. They're on multiple medications to keep their blood pressures up, keep their blood pressures down, um, basically to just keep them alive. They're monitored by multiple people, multiple teams. So the critical care team is made up of the bedside nurse, the respiratory therapist, and the intensivist. So a typical day for a critical care nurse, we come in about seven o'clock, we meet in a room, all the nurses and the charge nurse, and we are given our assignments. We then break and we go to the patients we're assigned and we get report from the nurse that has taken care of them for the previous 12 hours. It's a 12, um, 12 hour shift, both day and night. And um, once they're done giving us the rundown of their night and the patient history. We go into the bedside and we see the patient, we look at the meds, um, they go home and then we plan our day. The education most typically required of a critical care nurse is a bachelor's degree. And then from the bachelor's degree, we do a lot of on the job training and certifications from there to learn specific um, skills to the ICU. There is quite a demand for critical care nurses. Um, it's a stressful job and you kind of have to have the right mind frame to get into it. Um, I think most people really love it once they get into it. It's a little scary at first and um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but there's a lot of demand um, to the point where we're having travelers come in and agency nurses. I think the traits and skills that make a successful critical care nurse, one, are um, very detail-oriented. You have to be very caring, but most of, all you have, most of all, you have to be teachable. You have to be able, be willing to learn, to hear other ways of doing things, um, and you have to work as a team. If you decide to go into nursing, you are going to be rewarded. You are gonna work very hard to get your patients through probably the worst times in their lives and their family members. Um, but you, you just come through it with a very sen big sense of accomplishment. Um, you have to be very caring because a lot of this is not just medical. You're, um, you're caring for people's feelings and their fears and um, really talking them through things, holding their hand and, and just encouraging them and, and reminding them they're gonna be okay. It's just really rough right now. So um, you're very hands-on. You can't just sit back and hope things happen. You definitely have to be involved and you have to want to make your patients better and make them comfortable. There's a lot of opportunity for growth in nursing. And as you grow as a nurse, you realize that there are different areas that you wanna go into and get better at and learn. And there's always, always opportunity to grow. There's always opportunity to learn. We have classes that are always offered um, new skills, especially in the critical care scene that um, you kind of work your way towards. And towards the end of a critical care nurse's career, they can do multiple um, skills and sometimes they do everything. They can take care of any kind of patient that comes through the ICU. So it's a very rewarding job. The number one reason that I return to my job every day is my coworkers. I have a wonderful group of coworkers here at Multicare Deaconess, and I have through my 18 years of being a nurse here. Um, 
they just, it's a family. It's a family away from home and they've got your back and you're constantly learning. I am learning new things every single day.